All right, so we want to find the volume that's encased when you take the curve y equals x squared and bound it between y equals 0 and x equals 1. And then, you well, you rotate around um, the x-axis. So we're using disks. We're not using shells. So setting it up, I already have here the concept of how it's going to look. Here's the concept of the shells. This is just an arbitrary amount, and you just stack the, well, you take an infinite infinite amount of these and you stack them you know thin it pretty much you'll get the exact amount and here's the equation that uh, here is the equation uh, enclosed area and then we flip it around so what we do here is um, volume is going to be equal to the integral of 0 to 1 and then um, so our area dx it's going to be so wrapping it around, so our radius actually here, think of it like this, uh, you're going to take, it's basically just finding um, kind of like, well, the volume of a shell, but or volume of a, like a cylinder in a way, a real thin cylinder, except we're just going an infinitesimal amount. So the radius here in this case um, is x squared and for any time you have a circle like this it's r but then um, it's going to be pi r squared so in this case x squared is the radius so that's going to be squared and then you're going to multiply it times pi so this ends up being the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the fourth times pi dx so pulling out our constants and integrating it we get pi one fifth x to the fifth from zero to one which gives us an area enclosed or a volume of pi over five so that's volume and that's it that's how you solve it yay